have all made mistakes at work. Some bigger than others. Our show listener has reached out to us. And she wants our birth show fam to make her feel better about the mistake she made at work. She's feeling kind of low. So she asked us to share our worst mistakes. If you want to share your mistake to make her feel a little bit better, 1-855-BIRT-SHOW. Mo, what'd she do? Hi, ladies. Would you and the Bird Show members be willing to discuss the biggest mistakes you've made at work? I'd also be interested in how you coped with disappointing your employer and yourself. I recently made a big mistake at work. Things have been handled, and although I know in the long run things are going to be okay, I am just so disappointed and upset with myself. I suffer from OCD, anxiety, and depression, Mm -hmm. and while I'm on medication, which does help, I keep obsessing over it, replaying it over and over in my mind. I really appreciate you guys and love the show. Thanks for all you do. (laughs) All right, babe. We are on a mission to make you feel better. And I'm going to kick it off with a recent story in the news. Okay? This should make you feel so much better. A New York research university is seeking $1 million in damages from a cleaning company after their janitor allegedly turned off a freezer and destroyed more than 20 years of cell research. No! No! 20 years? Uh Uh-huh. A lawsuit from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute says the custodian turned off a freezer while he heard multiple, quote, annoying alarms. It turns out the lab's freezer contained 20 years of cell cultures and sensitive, Mm. crucial samples that were destroyed. Wow. Alarm. Yeah, uh-huh, because it was, yeah, the fridge was being noisy, I guess. Here's um, here's my thing about the million dollars. What is that going to solve? You can't go turn back time. You and, can't, but mm-mm. you can try to start over, and that million dollars will help you, like, with all the necessary instruments you need and the gathering of the, of the new cell search. But... 20 years. How do you apologize for a 20-year mistake? You can't. You can't. Nothing you can't. You can say. All right, Abby, your biggest work work mistake. What oh, is it? Oh, my gosh. So mine was also somewhat money-related. So at my old job, we had some technology snafu that basically meant that we had to insert all of our ads um, manually. And so I, I took a vacation for the first time in like three years. This was like post pandemic. I was like, you know what? It's the summer. Nothing's going on. I'm going to take a week off and go to Nashville. And so all of this technology snafu had happened while I was away. So I come back and didn't, I've been told once, oh, you have to make sure you put the ads in so we can all get paid. And I did not <gasps> And I did, I, I just slipped my mind. Cause I was, I came back from vacation. You know, you know how you still have mm-hmm. like vacation brain. Yeah. And the worst part was not only did I not put the ads in costing us thousands and thousands of dollars, my boss found me like in my office on my phone when she came in. She's like, what's happened to the ads? And I'm like, what do you mean? What happened to the ads? <laughs> Here comes another four hour music squeak with <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ashley, welcome to the birth show. Thanks for joining the conversation. How did you, what was your Hi. massive screw up at work, babe? Okay, so during COVID, we all worked. And so my boss was very, never wanted to work, was very not there all the time. And I was frustrated. So I sent a message to the group chat of coworkers, just venting, complaining about him, maybe not being so nice, without realizing that he was actually on that same group chat. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. No. Yeah. (laughs) How'd that play out? Well, I unsent the message as quick as I could, and he actually didn't end up reading it, but he noticed that there was, he got the notification, and he saw the first couple of words in the notification that that it was about him and that that I had unsent it. And he then proceeded to go back and pull my entire chat history to read everything. Wow. Wow. And what, yeah. <laughs> how'd that turn out? Did you, did you, were you done with that job? Um, so I am done with that job. I actually was able to talk myself through it and we were good, but it was so awkward. I ended up finding employment elsewhere just for my sake. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. Girl. That sounded about right. I don't blame yeah. you. <laughs> All right. Mo, worst work mistake. 
Um, I've made a few of them, but I, I know the one that I probably handled the worst because I, I was young is... No, let's just go over all of them. No, no, no. We no. don't, we don't, we don't <laughs> have enough. List. Technically, she said ladies. I don't even know. I don't even want to give mine. <laughs> she, <laughs> she sent the email me. to Cassie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do remember well, I wanted to be a paralegal at the time, and I'd had no paralegal. I had no background. Mm -hmm. And but they wanted me to just try it anyway, and I was in training, and I don't remember exactly what I did because I didn't know exactly what I was doing. But they asked me basically to put all of the files into a different place, and whatever I did, I, I did it completely wrong. And so the next day that I came in, like pretty much like three years of work was just gone, and they couldn't find it. And then when I tried to find it, knowing like I swore I put it here. It wasn't there, and I couldn't even explain it. And um, the entire office was so pissed at me, like that they didn't even talk to me for like three days. And then I just was like, I, I think I'm, think I'm done here. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm when going you to gave comedy. Up, that's when you gave us <laughs> a paralegal dream. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> All right, Ashley, thanks for joining the conversation. Let's make our birth show listener feel better. What was your worst work uh, work mistake? So I'm a recruiter for the Department of Justice um, and the FBI, and I recruit for lots of different roles, but at the time I was recruiting for someone to be an aviation technician, um, which requires a lot of secret clearances and experience, and I was hiring someone to be a social media coordinator for something very different, and they had very, very similar names. So I unfortunately got the um, offers mixed up and brought someone on to be an aviation technician that was really just good at running Facebook ads. Um, and we had to pay her an outrageous high salary, had to work on getting her a secret clearance because of the mess up that we were legally obligated to fix. Wow. Oh, no. Worked out for her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I was just here to post on Facebook. <laughs> here I am, punching buttons. <laughs> I was just supposed to poke some people. I didn't realize that I had to do all this. <laughs> The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? You can get more of The Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform. Wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.